Hey, it's Crafty here. I have this guitar case like this. I just noticed it and I was like, uh, do I need to buy a new one? Nah, I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, so what is this special thing in question? Well, check it out. This is Nashua gaffer tape which is not duct tape and it's not sticky tape. It's definitely not masking tape. The important thing about this Nashua brand is not because I have a sponsorship. Did you hear that, Nashua? I don't. <laughs> I'd love a Nashua sponsorship. The reason why I choose Nashua to fix things is because it just lasts, like, forever. I'm going to get into all of the different types of tapes that there are in a second, but first, I'm going to fix this bad boy. All right, I'm getting there with this. Just going to take a quick break to mention something that my dear old mum told me years ago. The reason why I thought I better do this right now is just because I've noticed with this case that, that these little tears and stuff have just been, just ever so slightly, been getting worse and worse every time I see it really. And so my mum's saying that she told me it's a ye olde saying, a stitch in time saves nine. So a stitch in time, meaning if you've got, uh, I guess, a hole in some item of clothing that's just appeared, the sooner that you tackle it, the sooner that you stop it from spreading and getting worse and worse and worse. So. Now I'm sure there's people watching this now that would say, no, you need a super glue, or no, you need to do all of these other methods, but hey, this is the rock and roll, I'm out on the road or I'm at a gig or I'm in a rush and I need to fix it and have it be something that you can rely upon staying intact at least for quite some time. Check it out. Looking heaps spicky now in comparison to before. Pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. <laughs> It's very important that you have a roll of gaffer tape of some kind. This is roughly about $25 Australian. Yeah, the reason why it's so expensive is just because it really lasts. It's really strong. Now, there's times when I wouldn't use this. Some people prefer cheap rolls of gaffer tape. It might be called cloth tape or I've seen bear tape. There's a bunch of different types. And I was always under the impression that it was just cheap and not really any good. And then there was a guy that I knew that ran a production company up in Darwin in the Northern Territory and one time I said to him like, why aren't you using Nashua? You know, what's wrong with you? You own a production company. And he said, uh, I would use it if I wanted to be able to then take the tape off at the end of the night. And I realised he had such a point because the con to all of the pros of using Nashua gaffer tape is that it is way too strong for some applications. And I remember one time that I was doing a gig where I was using some Nashua gaffer tape on some carpet and I probably ripped it up a bit. So I was too, I, can't, I don't remember where that gig was. Yeah, so definitely if you're only gonna be using what you need the gaffer tape for for say an hour or two or a few, well then yeah, I'd be using the cheaper, almost cloth tape style of gaffer tape. Do you ever find yourself that you're putting on a guitar to stand up with, with a strap, and that you're worried that the connection for the strap to the little strap knob, whatever you call it, is like, going to be a bit hit and miss? Like you might be standing up playing and then the guitar's just going to drop or the bass. Well, here is my five string bass, which has, if you can see it there, it's got gaffer tape. Oh, and it's here as well. So. I'm sorted with this bass. This ain't gonna do any dropping mid gig. Obviously, I must have just put this on at a gig just before I was about to go on. I could get a strap block, but I'm leaving it like that for now because I gotta say, it is pretty rock and roll looking.
there was a gig that I was doing with a great Australian singer called Wendy Matthews. It was an interesting gig because I just got a new guitar and I was really excited about using it. And then I got to the gig for the sound check and I was like, oh no, this new guitar case doesn't have my usual stuff in it. it so I didn't have a guitar strap. Uh oh, well, what do I do? Do I like grab a chair? That's going to be a bit weird. Uh, like, I need to be standing up. So then. I quickly, promptly asked the sound guy, I said, hey, do you have a roll of Nashua Gaff I could just quickly borrow? And, and of course, sound guys, production guys, they've always got Nashua Gaff handy. So what I proceeded to do was I grabbed one sheet and I went, I stuck one on each side of each other, back to back, and then I grabbed, uh, it was either a set of keys or a little pocket knife that was around or something like that, and I just poked two holes in it. And Wendy Matthews' manager was looking at me very weird, like, what the hell are you doing, dude? And then I said to him, be honest, you've done this before as well, right, to get you through a gig? And then he kind of went, yeah. <laughs> I've got many examples of why I choose Nashua Gaffer Tape just because of the strength that I mentioned. I remember posting on Instagram that I had my watch band that was kind of broken but held together with Gaffer Tape. That lasted a few years before I got a new watch band. Now I can hear some of you saying, hey, why don't you just get a new watch band? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't I just get some time to be able to do these things? I have the lifestyle which is I'm go, 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 go and I really don't have time to be able to do a lot of things. It would be great if I had a personal assistant just going around fixing all of my broken stuff for me, but I don't. So Nashua Gaffer Tape, thank you. One of the problems with this jacket is that I've got a zip right on the end and I, I, I like playing music in this jacket and it's pretty annoying to have that kunk kunk noise, especially if it's acoustic guitar, it's really obvious. So, lo and behold, a little bit of gaffer tape, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, it's, uh, it's been well used and I've chucked it through the wash a couple of times. Even this chair that I'm sitting on, look, it doesn't look great, but the fabric had completely shredded some time ago and so yeah the gaffer tape has just made it just so that it hasn't just completely ruined now i don't know if it comes in any other colors but i was so excited when i first saw that nashua comes in white and here's a little thing that broke the other day it's just my my little whiteboard that i chuck up on my studio door and yeah I have fixed it up and it's colour coordinated ish. It was family Christmas one year and my mum had told me that all the guests, family guests, were going to arrive in say about a half an hour. And just after that, I walked out the back door and holy crap, the screen door had come off its hinge and I was thinking oh no what am I going to do and you know it's Christmas time everybody's about to arrive you've just really got to quickly hurry up and, and get it done right so I decided to just quickly gaff it on both sides and it, and it held in great and all of the family kept on walking in and out and it just worked like a normal door. So then the next day I was walking through and I noticed that it wasn't actually going to last that much longer. Look, gaffer tape's good, but hey, it was holding a door on, right? So I thought, oh, what am I going to do to be able to make this more solid? Because it was Christmas time, no, none of the shops were open and everything. So I thought, well, I had gaffer tape the screen door onto a plank of wood that the hinge would have ordinarily been screwed into, right? So. I decided, well, why don't I just quickly just chuck in a couple of nails? And so I did, and it was way solid. It was really good. And so good, in fact, that four and a half years, I kid you not, four and a half years went by before I think my dad was like, yeah, we should probably fix that door now. So, Nashua Gaffer Tape, it's strong. Is there anything they can't do?
Now, there's probably a bunch of other examples that I could tell you, but you're already thinking. I know what you're thinking. Shut up, Crafty. I want to head out and go get myself some Nashua gaffer tape right now. So I will not stop you. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I've enjoyed randomly talking about my love for gaffer tape. Yeah, it is a bit weird, but hey, it gets me by and I hope it gets you by. Let me know in the comments below if it was helpful. Let me know if you've got any other preferred methods. Let me know if I'm just cheap. <laughs> and I'll see you in another hopeful, helpful video to you really soon. Cool. See you later.